Hello, my sleepy, sleepy samurais. And you guys are caught underneath the stand. Okay, we are back. I know you guys really enjoy how much I like candy, so. <laughs> Which is crazy, I'm not even really a big candy person. <laughs> I just really like candy triggers and like including them in my videos, so. I found these bunnies, chicks, and eggs. Uh, marshmallow candy. They are free of major allergens. And they're made by Spangler. To be totally honest, I've never seen these candies before in my entire life. Um, I was at Target and came across these bad boys. Um, or gals. So, I decided to pick them up because they're very interesting. This is marshmallow, but they're kind of freaking hard. So we're gonna see how good they really are. Um. So I also bought these because they kind of remind me of circus peanuts. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I had never had a circus peanut before because just the texture looks weird. I I assumed, since they were in peanut shape and they looked like a peanut, that they were peanut butter tasting. My partner told me that assumption was extremely wrong to assume that a peanut shape was going to be peanut flavored because it is in fact like bubblegum flavored. So, once my partner found out that I never tried them before, they were hell-bent on me trying them. So they bought me some circus peanuts, and I tried them for the first time like a year ago. Um, I have not recovered since. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I just blew my mind that they had the opportunity to make a peanut butter flavored candy since it was in fact peanut shaped and they did not seize the opportunity like who in the heck makes a peanut shaped candy bubblegum flavored it just it boggles my mind and i still grip with that fact every single day <laughs> i got too much going on to think about bubblegum flavored candy that's in a peanut shape <laughs> but I digress. Um, we're gonna try these bed dogs. It says marshmallow candy. It doesn't say that they're a flavor, but I will certainly tell you whether it has a flavor or not. It says sugar, corn syrup, gelatin, pectin, whatever that is. Um, artificial flavor, awesome. Color added. Uh, includes yellow 5, red 40, and blue 1. Uh, manufactured by Spangler Candy in Bryan, Ohio. Shout out to Bryan, Ohio. Which is funny because it's spelled B-R-Y-A-N. And that's the name and sp exact spelling of my partner's best friend. Um... <coughs> Made in the USA. I wonder what else they make in this factory because there's no peanuts, tree nuts, milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, wheat, or gluten. That comes near these little puppies. Okay. I'm gonna stop giving them weird names and we're just gonna open the bag. Oh my goodness, they're bubber bum. Oh my goodness. They're bubber. Why can't I say bubble gum? Okay. Oh my goodness. They are bubble gum flavored. This has to be the same company that makes those peanuts. I 
cannot believe I've been duped once again. And what, what character? Bunnies, chicks, and eggs. So they could have come up with a cute chick. And they came up with something that looks like a rubber chicken. Like, what way does he even go? I'm guessing this way? I don't know. Man, I was so let down. This, I... This has gotta be the same people that makes those freaking peanuts. I've been bamboozled. And I, you know, if you've been on here long enough, you know I really like marshmallow sounds, like marshmallow triggers for some reason. That's why I've been, that's why I bought these. Here we go, we have our egg. Looks like an almond. I'm so disappointed. I think this is the only candy I'm going to try in this video, but I do have other Easter candy. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. <laughs> Here we have a bunny. Who does not look like he's having the best of days. Super upset that he's here. Let me put you out of your misery, young man. It's a different flavor. Is this green? I believe this is... Yes, I believe this is green. It tastes like lime. Okay. I applaud them for being free of allergens, but they really need to tell you what flavors these are. Cause I'm allergic to some like very random things. I mean, it would present themselves as random if I told them all to you, but apparently it's not really that random because they're all related to a latex allergy. Which sucks. Like, I always knew my skin got sensitive with latex. So, you know, a lot of items I have to make sure they're latex free. Which sucks because I think, like, like latex outfits certain kinds not all of them are like really cool um and there's one that I was considering buying until somebody brought to my attention that I don't really know what this flavor is like children's medicine but like candy form 
Okay. I was talking with somebody. I was telling them about like my weird different allergies. I don't remember how that came up, but um I told them all my different allergies and they're like they're like, you know, most of those are related to a latex allergy. And I never knew but since my skin gets sensitive to latex, that was like a sign that I was like full blown allergic to it. Um, we're not gonna eat the pink one again because it's disgusting. We're gonna try and get a blue one. If that's, I don't think there's any blue. I just think it looked blue from the angle. There's a white one. I don't remember if I ate a white one or not. <coughs> but, um, I just thought my reaction to latex was because I have extremely sensitive skin. Yes, I know, I'm a unique individual. <laughs> But, um, they're like, no, that's connected to a latex allergy. And I, you know, this person is not a physician. So I Googled it, of course, because Google has a PhD. Um, <laughs> so I, um, uh, looked it up and it was like totally true. Most of the stuff I'm allergic to is related to a latex allergy. So once I figured that out, I didn't buy the outfit that I wanted to buy, which is a total bummer, bum, bummer because it was super duper cute. I think this is supposed to be like a regular marshmallow flavor. Flavor. I think I'm just gonna eat a couple more white ones. Then we're gonna be done with this garbage. And if this is like by far your most favorite candy in the world. I'm sorry about it's trash, no I'm kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> um but yeah. And you're like, but sleepy, you're still eating it. I'm here for a good time. For good triggers. And I hope that's what's coming out, out of these things. Otherwise I'm going to be really bummed. And you're like, sleepy, why are you using that small itty bitty microphone? How about you let me live my life? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Why are you asking so many questions? I'm just kidding. Um. I don't know, I thought this was a cute little microphone day. I think I've only used it like once. Another egg. You know what I when la 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 you wanna know what else I think is crazy? How popular some accounts get when it's just a close-up of the mouth 
like eating weird stuff. Um, I'm not talking about the mukbang, muk, mukbang ASMR, ASMR accounts where it's just like here down. I'm talking about the ones where it's just like this part. <laughs> and just eating weird stuff. For some reason, those videos started being recommended in my what is YouTube? Not Reels, that's Instagram, they're short. Um, like most of the videos have like a million likes and I'm like, I don't understand why. Is it like something sexual? Or just like a visual. Just please somebody explain it to me. I'm very interested. And I think they started recommending those to me because I recently got back into certain ASMR mukbang style videos and um sometimes when I start watching those I get recommended like more weird stuff <laughs> and if you like it please don't take offense to that because I like weird stuff too um but that's just not something that's a trigger for me like audio wise or visually it kind of weirds me out okay there's one white chicken left and I'm not gonna eat it I've eaten way more than I should have because four pieces is 120 calories people <laughs> I don't know how. This is just like eating foam. But I definitely think these people made circus peanuts. Almost dropped you guys. But I didn't. Um, okay. So. I'm really glad we got to spend this time together. And I hope this video helped you in some way. either reduce stress, anxiety, or maybe you're even asleep. If you're asleep, I want you to know that I appreciate you. But if you're awake and you made it to this point in the video, you are amazing. Well guys, like I said, I'm really glad we got to spend this time together and I hope this video... Uh, I'm really glad we got to spend this time together. Hope to get to see you again. Hope I get to see you again really soon. Thanks.